Hey, what is up guys and welcome back. So today we're going to be taking a look at two budget motors from iFlight and Emax. We're going to be taking a look at the Emax Eco 2207-2400 kV and also the, I, the iFlight Shing E 2208-2450 kV. We're just going to be putting some numbers to these and seeing how well they perform, their overall efficiency, and just about everything you probably want to know about these motors. Now, excuse my voice and the way I'm speaking is because I've got you know, a pretty bad uh, cold, if you might say. And um, yeah, I'm just still barely recovering from it. So let's get started here. So up top, we have the Shing motor and on the bottom, we have the Emax. And again, both of these were ran on 4S testing here. And for example, each line here represents a throttle level. So we have 25% uh, throttle, 50, 75 and 100% and that goes for all of them the motor plus the propeller that was being used and also we have the grams here load which is in amperage volts power and overall efficiency being calculated and I also have some charts to check its overall efficiency at different throttle levels which we're going to take a look at here immediately what you would actually tend to notice here is that the Shing motor the 2208 to be exact 2450 kV is a bit more power hungry yet at the same time it's more powerful and um, it's just going to be soaking up a lot of current because it's just pulling roughly always around 44 amps of current. It can pull more, but the whole system is limited to what I'm able to pull. So in, in reality, personally, I would not put this on a freestyle build. That's just my opinion. Uh, this is kind of my own taste. I don't want it to be too powerful lately. You know, as, as I've matured more and more, I'm looking more for efficiency and um just you know longer flight times you're know, really enjoying what you're doing but if you're racing obviously you want something that's just like crazy powerful possibly even even efficiency does play a big role uh, i'm not saying any motor of these is bad or good i think they're both great motors but this is a personal preference my personal preference currently is going to the emax ecos to be honest i really like the uh, efficiency and the power draw here for example i really like looking first at the load and then i see that i was pulling a maximum of 35 amps to 37 amps here and uh, I really like that actually uh, because that means it's just not going to be super intensive on the battery and that's also very good especially when you're giving full throttles plus the maximum thrust is really nice as well one around 1.3 kilograms plus minus 30 uh, which is also good in my opinion and um you know, both of them are really greatly priced, and I'll have them linked down below. I'll try to also get you guys some coupons as well. And um, let's go ahead and take a closer look at the efficiency chart. So just to kind of give you a better representation of what's going on. So uh, the bars represents the thrust per motor. So the motor and the propellers are down here. And this red line represents the efficiency. And you want this to be higher. The higher, the better. The, the higher, that means it's more efficient. And what we can see is the Emax Eco on a DAL 5043 is the most efficient. But don't let this fool you. Because it might look like it's a big, uh, you know, it might look like a big difference, but it's actually not. It's all within 0.5 gram force per kilowatt, uh, per watt, sorry. And um, so it's, it's not that much of a difference in the efficiency, but is again, slightly more efficient, but also the least powerful as well. But it's still a good thrust value, which is one, around 1.3 1, 1 kilograms, which is really hella good actually for 35 amps. That, that's, that's, that's great in my opinion. Now, if we go down to 75% throttle, it's the same concept here, or it's the same thing. We see that, again, that the Emax Ecos on a 5043 Dow prop are still the more if, the most efficient. But again, it's not by that much, because if you take a look here, this is a 2.5, and this is just a 3. So it's just, you know, between 0.5 gram force per watt, which is not that much again. So overall, personally, for my own next build on the channel, it's going to be a forest. It's going to be using the Emax Ecos. Uh, just because I like the efficiency and I also really like the amp draw on it. Now the Shing is, is slightly more powerful and again don't forget it has a little bit more KV and it's also a slightly bigger. Uh, it's a 2208 so it's one millimeter larger than the 2207. Um, but both of them, I'm not saying one of them is bad, one of them is good. I'm just saying these are the numbers and my personal preference is going or just aiming towards the Emax Ecos here. I'll also be getting the uh, low KV version to test out as well. And everything's linked down below, guys. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And um, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.